Over the past few weeks, the amount and the numbers of the earthquakes have increased in the Reconus Peninsula in the Swartzengi volcanic system. The map shows this. I've marked it for you here. You can see that this is the area we are talking about. And that means the opening of the ground and creating a pathway for the magma and shaking of the magma, which creates the, uh, you know, the facilitates the movement of the magma because magma is a known Newtonian fluid. It's like ketchup, practically. It needs earthquakes and the earthquakes shake it up and make it fluid, more fluid, more runny, and it can flow. We have evidence for the flow in the form of the slowing down of the land rise, under the, especially under the Swartzengi, that is this one. And that means the uh, magma is actually coming in and moving out of the Swartzengi reservoir. And we are gradually seeing the evidence for that, although not the change of, of the pressure still, but there are possible scenarios which can happen. Uh, one possible scenario is that it happens like what it was in the May and June 2024, where we had the eruption in the north in the Slingerfell areas in the Sundunka crater chain. And what happened was that we had a first eruption and the second fissure erup uh, opening up. And this was from the north to this uh, 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 Hagofell. The second scenario is that it's from Hagofell the eruption, the fissure opens, goes through uh, the Grindovic, it slices through the defenses. This is what we saw in the January 14, 2024. And the slicing of the defenses was visible clearly. You can see the defenses here now being cut by the uh, fissure and the eruption is happening. And we had a branch of it actually continuing to the town of the Grindovic, to the suburbs of it. And, uh, practically the burning some of the houses. Uh, the risk assessment, which is a legal document, has not changed since then. We have the possibility of eruption or magma flow within the town of the Grindavik itself, according to the second scenario. And this is what the uh, latest uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office uh, update has announced, and I've expressed it here for you. In the first scenario, the eruption will be almost uh, uh, immediate. So from the depth of the five kilometer to the surface, less than half an hour. But that means that uh, if it's going to reach the Grindovic in the first scenario, it will take one and a half hours for the warning time that we have to evacuate the town. In the second scenario, which I have marked by the black line, that is a Hagofall eruption uh, fissure, if it opens from that location, that means the magma has to travel from the Swartzengi Reservoir southward under the ground and reach there. It takes one and a half hour again for that time. But then the eruption may happen within the town of the Grindavik. We had already happen, uh, seen such a thing in the past. It may happen again. And in that case, uh, the, uh, we have some time actually to evacuate, hopefully.